Odell, and uh, the captain of the aircraft is actually uh, Kev Rumens. And here we come. I'm afraid you're only going to get one pass, but enjoy it and get cameras out. Avronel Hansen climbing away and the Vulcan will run in to commence its display. Right, what I'm sure most of you know is that sadly the 558 now is coming to the end of its um, life that it's permitted to fly. It still flies absolutely beautifully. Um, it's been a joy to fly for me this year and for the past eight years. And it's been very well maintained by all our engineers up at Doncaster. And we've hardly had a single thing wrong with it all year. There was one tiny little hiccup on the undercarriage uh, where all it needed was a little bit more fluid and a bit of bleeding of the air. And apart from that, that's all we've had. But sadly, it is coming to an end. And this display here today at Old Warden is genuinely its last public display, an unconventional Vulcan display, but in essence, the same idea. that they have to avoid here. It'll be, don't be too concerned, it's just a little bit of a, a, a wide display, but say, Phil will be doing his best to give you as much noise as possible, and uh, certainly to show this beautiful aeroplane off uh, to its best ability. Coming right now, come in on straight towards the crowd, and when we we'll be pulling up into a, we call it a spiral climb, it doesn't go very high, but it enables us to put full power on for a good few seconds to make the earth shake. Philadel is a very lucky, I call him a young man, some of you call him a bit older, but he's also the, the chief test pilot for Rolls-Royce and he has his own Spitfire PR-19 as well to play with. Wait for the noise. by Roy Chadwick in the late 1940s was that Britain needed a nuclear bomber and it needed one big enough to carry a large bomb but it had to be able to climb to 50,000 feet hence the lot of power that it had. It also had to manoeuvre up at that height and in its era nothing could outmanoeuvre it at above 50,000 feet. None of the fighters of that generation could outmanoeuvre it and it would have even been very very hard to be shot down by air-to-air -air missiles and the surface-to-air missiles were not very well developed either.
Shoreham tragedy, I'm afraid there have been restrictions put on all vintage jets and the Vulcan is no longer allowed an uh, overland display to use more than 60 degrees of bank. Hence, there was no big wing over just there. Um, Kev Ruman's famous for his rather ex over uh, bank wing overs, but I'm afraid we can't do it here. Waiting now should come in and go into a left turn, wait for the bomb doors to open. Sadly, the Vulcan has to come to the end of its life, not because of a lack of funding, uh, because we've had so much magnificent support from the general public over the years, but purely because they, it's no longer permitted to fly without the, uh, the, the companies, the large engineering companies who monitor the safety of the aircraft, and none of them have the expertise, I reckon, anymore to keep an eye on this aircraft. So this is why it's coming to an end. Last time you may be hearing that roar of these wonderful Olympus engines. They couldn't uh, leave you with just that. So, the, the good news about this is that the aircraft will continue up at Doncaster. It will be a living, breathing um, aircraft, but uh, no longer in the air. We'll still be offering tours around it. We hope people will still support it because we still need your support and your money um, to see the next phase of this flight, which is, uh, is moving ahead quite well uh, to become an aviation academy. <laughs>